My name is Ray Mingo. I'm from Philadelphia. I've written a book entitled Who's Your Daddy? Uh, it's a book about uh, fathers being involved with their children. I also work with kids and I have three daughters. So. I started the anti-drug, anti-violent network um, years ago um, under the founder, the late James Mills. He wanted me to get involved. He thought it was something that I would like. I worked with kids. I found out that one of the guy named Snooze, he said, Mr. Mingo, that college is asking about me. He said, but I have to maintain this certain attitude because I live here in North Philly. He said, but what you see, this is not me, I, but I'm, I have to do this. And that impressed me to get involved with working with kids because uh, evidently he didn't have a father that could tell him that it's okay to be yourself. Me writing the book, it really came out of, uh, I was in a difficult time in my life. Uh, I have three girls, uh, two of them have the same mother, the other one doesn't. Um, I wasn't with either of the mothers, but I always was determined not to be like my father. I always made up in my mind, even as a young teenager, that I wasn't going to be like my father to my kids, um, even if I didn't live with them. That separation between my daughters pushed me to write this book. It was just something I was writing to get things out of me and to, uh, to also, if I had a platform to stand on that I can tell other people how important it is to be there. It was important for me because they were girls. Um, I wanted to sit them to see what not a perfect man was, but uh, a father was. Inspired to write means to me that you're inspired to let people know what's in you. When you're trying to convey a message, uh, that's the most important thing. Years and years ago, parents told stories to their children. And they sat around and talked to, talk to their children. They tell them about their ancestry. They tell them about times when they were coming up. and. This, it wasn't only a time of telling stories, but it was a time when fathers, mothers, um, children's grandchildren can form a, a, a cohesiveness, you know, and they can become a family. Um, you know, so it's important that we get back to telling stories. Uh, I have uh, mentors. Um, I, I don't have author mentors, I have more personal mentors. I have a person that came into my life and I think that if that gentleman did come in my life at the time, that I most likely would never not be here right now. I was taken in by a family after I ran away from home. Through my journey living with them, I got to see what a father looked like. I got to see what his ups, his downs, um, his imperfection. But I also got to see how he persevered um, when he didn't have money, and yet he still took me in, and that was another mouth to feed. Uh, um, I got to see how he related to his wife um, and his children. And um, so I got to see what a father look like. Then I got to see that even with all of those weakness and all those other adversities, how powerful his presence was in that house. Books need to say to people what you have inside of you. I think everybody has something inside of them that they can offer humanity. And they need to let that out, whether it be in children's books, whether it, it's in uh, adult books. It doesn't necessarily just have to be a story that's well-crafted. It just has to be a story 
that meets people where they're at and that people can relate to. I think just the fact of living, you begin to write from other angles because your, your life is about angles. You experience one thing here, you experience one thing here. You experience this down the road, something that you never thought you would experience, and you, 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 you internalize it and you think about it. You know, so um, I think every writer, uh, uh, they just have to look I think within themselves and see that uh, this situation is important. Let me write about it. And they will find out that there is a hundred people over here that was waiting for that, that angle. Um, it's more of a memoir. I said to myself, I am not going to write a traditional book. It's a memoir of my thoughts, but the focus is on us as people of color finding out why we struggle with becoming one. Totally is spelled W-H-O-L-L-Y, you know, being one, being a unit. We have an ingrained problem that has been existing for years. Our struggle is more with each other. Our struggle is more of uh, learning to come together, the rich and the poor, the uh, successful and the unsuccessful. How can we bring all these together? When I write, I always think about how I'm going to do something or write something that will make it better for my girls in the future. If everybody did that, if you ran a country, how am I going to make this country better for my children in the future? This country wouldn't have as many problems as it has. I said in one of my writings, the best man to run a country is a man that's dedicated as a father. That's the best man to run a country because he will run the country with his children in mind. Not politics, not uh, uh, money. Uh, he will run the country with, how I'm gonna make this country better for Brittany. How I'm gonna make this country better for Ashley. 
how I'm going to make this country better for Gianna. And when I do things with that intent, I, I, I think I will do things even, I would do things that even go against what I may think. Because if I know it won't be good for my daughters, I'll have to sidetrack, you know. I remember years ago we used to, you know, when we used to be with our, in, in the neighborhood, and the, the adults came around, they would say, all right, go upstairs, we'll go outside and play. You can't be around us, you know, because we're about to do adult things, you know. So, you know, we should do things according to how would it impact our children. First thing, I, I really don't view myself as a writer, as quote unquote, the professional term. I just view myself as somebody that I want people to get to think about what I write. I want to put something out there and I want it to joke you. And if it jokes you, then I, I think that's what I, I do best. Um, I, 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 I'm not a person that, you know, I said the first book, because it was so hard to do, was I'm not doing that anymore. That was like hard. Um, and then I kept, I have a website, so I kept writing things on my website, and, and I said, well, look, let me put these things that I'm writing on my website in a book form. Um, so I, I don't consider myself an author or a, a, a writer, but if I would say something to people who are going in that direction, is that um, we have a responsibility and that um, we have to make sure now, because I think it's, it's, it's past due, we have to make sure now what we write has a moral to it. If it doesn't have a moral, if it's just about laying in bed and getting up the next morning and seeing the postman and stuff like that, I mean, you can write those stories, but let those stories have a moral to it. Let it do something to the person that's reading it that says, do I want to be like that lady that was in that book? How can I not be like that lady? What is the book telling me about this lady? Because I'm a lady. Is it telling me to sleep around? Because if it doesn't convey a moral, then that's what it's just doing. Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, um, uh, Ray Mango. You can look that up on Facebook. Uh, you can view my page there. Uh, you can get my book at lulu.com. Um, you can view my website, which is the pursuit of fa pursuit of fatherhood um, at Wix. Slaughter, the Executive Director of Literacy University. Real Education TV. And we will tackle sensitive issues plaguing public education. This groundbreaking show celebrates real learning, real education, teachers in the trenches, and real results. Our viewers will be riveted by our discussions with administrators and students in the middle, making decisions. By tackling sensitive subjects, we will eat the elephant in the room one bite at a time. Red, Real Education TV. My name is 
the indicator. Indicator. Enough said on that one. Yo, what's up? You know what it is. It's your man, the indicator. Holla. Holla. Tone in, man.